chamomile tea, guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shaquayla Mitwan, and if you're new here, I'm a full-time reseller and I predominantly sell on Poshmark as well as eBay and Mercari. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you all everything that sold in January. At the beginning of the year, I told myself that I was gonna put every fiber of my being into building this business. And January, I worked extremely hard sourcing, um, posting, making offers, locking down sales and I'm so proud of my results. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. My first sale of January was a Tory Burch belt bag and when I found this bag sourcing, it looked incredible. I mean, excellent condition. There was one small tiny flaw and I sold this bag for $100. And I believe it sold the exact same day that I put it up. So that was a great start to my month. I love when I post things and they sell immediately. I had some New Balance 574 classic sneakers and I actually bought these. I'm sure you guys have seen these if you watched one of my um, retail arbitrage videos. I bought these from um, from Shopbop actually. And I bought them at a discount and these shoes were so cute and if I had gotten them in my size, I definitely would have kept them. These shoes got so much attention on my page and people tried to bargain with me back and forth, back and forth. Nobody wanted to pay um, the price that I had them up for. I ended up getting $85, which is was around the price I wanted. I think I wanted 90. I got 85, but I had to wait a long time to sell these because everyone wanted to offer me $40 or $50, finally somebody came in and just bought the shoes. <laughs> so I was pretty happy about getting those off of my hand. The next thing I have is a Coach wallet. Um, it's this mini Coach burgundy wallet. It's a double zip wallet. Um, this wallet got a lot of attention on Mercari as well as Poshmark and ended up selling on Poshmark for $45. I wanted at first around 60, but I got 45 and I was pleased with 45. Zara Trafalux slides. Um, I have these slides and I actually bought these slides for myself every now and then when I go thrifting or consignment shopping, I will find things that I like for myself. When I tried these shoes on, they, it's like my foot was trying to, it just barely fit in the shoe. And so I noticed like with slides, I have to get a size up for them to look good on me. So I went ahead and posted these shoes. They sold for $25. The next is a coach handbag. It was like a little shoulder tote. You could wear it as a shoulder bag. You could wear it as like a tote, or you could even wear it as a crossbody because it had a long strap. Um, I found this bag and I found it consignment shopping and I got a really great deal on it and I sold it for $90 and this bag was in perfect condition. It looked brand new, like it just came off someone's shelf. So I got $90 for it and I was really pleased with that because the purse sold in maybe two days. And I've been noticing something with coach bags, getting the signature print, because it's because coach is really coming back in a big way. Getting the signature print, people are really after that right now. So this was a signature print bag and um, yeah, it sold for $90, so. Next is lipstick, MAC lipstick. I never buy lipstick to sell. Um, when I buy makeup and stuff, it's for me. But this MAC lipstick, I actually went to Ulta and I bought a ton of makeup, maybe like a month ago. And um, they had a freebie. They were giving out MAC lipsticks when you spend a certain amount. So I got this red, beautiful red lipstick and I never opened it because I'm just not a person that likes red lipstick. I don't think it looks good on me. So I said, hey, why not? I should post it. It's just sitting here. I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna wear it. So I sold this lipstick for $17 and the person gave me five stars and we're really happy with it. So I'm happy somebody got the use out of it. The next thing I sold was a Madewell faux fur top in vintage gold. And this was such a fun top. Um, I sold it for $20. When I originally posted this top, I think I had it up for $60. And then I had it for so long, maybe two months, and I was just like, you know what? It has to go, I need to sell it. So I sold it for 20 bucks, which is perfectly fine. I wanted a lot more for it, but I'm noticing with Madewell tops, sometimes it's just a lot harder to sell the tops. The jeans, not extremely hard, but the tops, it is. And this was a special top because it had fur and things on it, so I thought it would do pretty good. But um, 
this person got a great deal on it and the person they said it's so wacky and perfect that's what that's what my customer said so she's really happy with it and I'm, I'm happy she likes it it's always great when you get a sale and the person comments and they say you know I'm so happy with it I love it and I give people really good deals I try my best to give people good deals so it makes me happy <laughs> um St. John crop jacket. Now, St. John, it's one of those, um, it's one of those brands that I have to pick up. I have to, every time I see it, I have to pick it up. Mm. Ooh, tastes so good. St. John is one of those brands I have to pick up. It sells so well. And um, they have more up-to-date styles of St. John, but I always find the vintage stuff because I guess that's what people are donating. And people love the vintage blazers. That's what I sell the most of. Um, I have sold skirts and I have sold pants, um, but those blazers and those jackets, the ladies go crazy over them and they will pay good money. So um, this one actually gave a pretty good deal on it, considering um, I sold it for $50. So, um, but it was a cropped jacket. It wasn't like a normal length jacket. It was shorter. Um, and I got five stars on it. They loved it. The next thing I sold was a Lululemon down for it all vest. Y'all, and I found this vest and it was brand new and I got an extremely good deal on it, extremely. Um, it was tiny, it was a size four, so I was concerned that it would sit for a while. It said, I think it set for maybe four or five days. I think it said for maybe four or five days. And when I tell you the girls were going crazy over this vest, the girls were going crazy over it. They were, people were sending me offers left and right trying to get this Lululemon vest, but they were trying to, they were trying to lowball the girl. So I had to stand my ground because this vest was originally, I think around $129. And I marked it for, I think I marked it for 90. And so that took a good 30, 40 dollars off. And so I'm like, okay, people, people will buy this. Plus it's brand new. And no, they kept trying to lowball me. And I had a lady, I mean, she went back and forth with me all day. Um, trying to bargain and I just wasn't gonna budge on this because it's such a good item it's new. If it had been used then I would have budged a little bit. But since it was brand new, now I'm gonna wait till somebody wants to pay for it. So um, I finally got a customer and while I was bargaining with um, someone else, somebody just came in and bought it. They didn't even, they didn't even talk about it. And I kind of like when that happens. I kind of like when that happens. I like when someone is like going back and forth and it's like, I'm giving you a good deal buy it or don't and somebody else came and swooped in about it and it just is what it is it just is what it is the next thing I sold was a coach Peyton floral print wristlet which I think is gonna be perfect for the springtime it's pink and red and white and um, I sold it for $35 um, Next, I had a, a pretty good sale. I was trying to get rid of a lot of stuff on my page. I sold some Vince Camuto metallic slides for $9. $9. So every now and then I do my little sales, y'all, and people begin to hook up. Mm. I need a little more. A little more honey. Oh, Y'all, I'm addicted to tea. I've been drinking it almost every day, especially with it being cold. I don't drink coffee. Um, a few months ago, I was drinking iced coffee and stuff, but it was just too much sugar in that. And I was like, you know what? I gotta get off of that because that stuff is addictive and all the sugar between the creamer and then all the other sugar stuff you add into it. I was like, I can't drink that every day. But my tea is kind of guilt free for me. I just make it with some hot water, put some honey in it. I try to control my honey and take off my honey. And um, now I'm addicted to tea every day. <laughs> okay, where did we leave off? Okay, y'all, I found some Coach Kimberly winter boots with fur at the top. And these boots were incredible. They had 
pockets, little pockets on them. And it made me think of the Prada boots because the Prada, Prada boots, they have little pockets and things on them, which I don't know what people are gonna do with pockets on their boots. Like, are you guys gonna store stuff in your boots? Because I'm not storing nothing down that, that far down. Like, especially not any, any money in my boots. Um, <laughs> but I ended up selling these boots for $100. Um, I actually found these boots when I was consignment shopping and it's a really nice upscale consignment shop and found these gorgeous boots and these were my size. They're size 10, I have big feet. <laughs> and I was like, mm, I kind of want these, but the thing about when you're a reseller, everything looks like a dollar sign. You're like, yeah, I like them, but that's money. Do I want to keep that money? Or do I want to make that money? I want to make it. Okay, so I sold those for $100. The next is Lululemon leggings. These were some printed black, white, I believe gray, um, Lululemon leggings, and they sold for $40. Um, it took a little while to sell them, maybe three weeks. And Lululemon leggings, um, I feel like the leggings, the jackets, and the vests, they do the best. Um, I don't normally pick up the sports bras or tops or tanks. Um, but I do pick up leggings as long as they're in good condition and they usually sell for $34. So it's always a good thing. Um, Zara Terry cloth set. I had this Zara Terry cloth set that I actually ordered for myself. Um, but it just wasn't, it wasn't big enough for me. So I ended up selling it for $45 and it's really cute. And I know this person is going to enjoy it in the springtime. They're going to look so adorable. A walk hole bra. So I sold this walk hole bra for $28. The size in it was 38i. And I have never heard of that sizing before. But someone came in and purchased it. Um, I had an Eileen Fisher pullover and it was a size small and I sold it for $25. So that was good. I used to sell Eileen Fisher for way more. I mean, it used to be when I would find a cardigan, it was going up for $50 at least. Now because it's so saturated and everyone has Eileen Fisher, um, the prices have to go down, so to be competitive. So I sold it for $25. Um, I had some Not Your Daughter jeans and these jeans were brand new with tags. They were $99 regular and I ended up selling these jeans for $25. <laughs> I put them up for around 50 and guys they did not budge i've had them for two months they would not sell and i noticed i had quite a few jeans on my page and one weekend i was like you know what i gotta get rid of most of these jeans they're just sitting i need to make my money back and i need to make a little bit extra um i'm not gonna be able to sell them at a super high price so um i sold them for 25 dollars and i was happy i was able to get my money back and a little bit extra but you know, I didn't get exactly what I wanted for them. So now going forward with buying jeans, I'm a little bit more picky and you really want to get those more expensive brand jeans so that you can get what you're wanting. Um, and that's exactly what happened with this next sale. I had some Levi's 721 high rise skinny jeans and these jeans were brand new with tags as well. I think they were worth maybe 60 bucks. I ended up selling them for $19. I had some Massimo jeans and I only paid a couple dollars for these. Um, I sold them for 13 because these jeans are actually supposed to be for me and they didn't work. So I sold them. So that was cool. I got my money back. I made about eight or nine dollars extra. So, I mean, hey, it's nice when something doesn't work and I mean, you're thrifting, so you're not taking that stuff back to the store. Okay, and these were brand new with tags. They were brand new Target pants, so $13. Um, the next thing I had was some Ugg flip-flops. These Ugg flip-flops, they, hmm, they said a long time because I think I bought these back in September. I think I bought them back in September. And in September, I went to this consignment store and I bought so many shoes because they were having like this huge blowout sale. I bought so many shoes and these were one of the pair of shoes that I got. Um, I had these shoes posted on eBay. I had them posted on Mercari. Did I put them on Mercari? I don't think I put them on Mercari, but I had them on eBay, definitely. And um, Poshmark. I finally said, you know what, they gotta go. So I marked them to 19 and 
so I'm gonna buy them. The next thing I had was some Fry slip on shoes. These shoes are so nice. And I actually have a brown pair that are identical to these and I believe the brown pair is the same size too. Um, so I had these originally up for around $70. I ended up offering $45 for them. Um, I did get an offer. Someone wanted both of them um, for a little bit cheaper price to bundle them in. I just wanted to get as much as I could off of each pair because I put I paid a decent amount for these shoes. So um, the lady went ahead and bought one pair. And so I'm happy she went ahead and bought one pair at least from me um, for $45. The next thing I sold was a Theory sweater. And Theory is, an, is a great brand. It's a really nice brand. It's quality. Um, but I only paid a couple bucks for this. And I was just not able to get a buyer when I had this price really, really high. So I went ahead and let it go for $18. This weekend, guys, my customers had a good weekend with me <laughs> because this weekend I was like, you know what? I gotta clear things out. I gotta get things out of here. <laughs> so um, yeah, I was just more willing to give people a deal. I just had to clear stuff out. And I kid you not, when I went to the post office, um, it was that Tuesday because it was the day after MLK Day and y'all I had bags and bags and bags and bags of packages it was like so much stuff because the post office was closed that Monday and um yeah it was just so much stuff to take so much stuff because I gave out so many deals um St. John Vintage Blazer. I told y'all about my St. John. Now this St. John Vintage Blazer, it's different because you know it was it's a really royal purple. The jacket looks like royalty. It's purple and gold. Um, the jacket is just absolutely stunning, and um, I've had I had so much interest in this jacket. Everybody wanted it for like 60, 70, and if you guys have watched some of my videos, you guys know that I regret it not accepting a $70 off from this. And I got that offer maybe six days after I posted the jacket. I was like, no, I think I can get more. And I had to wait guys, maybe two months later. And I was like, is anybody gonna buy this jacket? And somebody came in and bought it for $100. And so I redeemed myself. I was happy because I was like, dang, I passed up on that $70 sale. And where's my customer for it and somebody came through and bought it so the thing about St. John sometimes it may take a little while because it is priced up higher but somebody will come and get it somebody is gonna buy it just give it a little time be patient um the next is a Liz Claiborne three-fourth sleeve sweater dress I sold and I sold it for $22 I had it up for $45 it's brand new with tags um it's a really nice dress and I ended up selling it for $22 and it's crazy because I had someone offer me, I feel like someone offered me like $30 for it and I declined. So I kind of lost on that sale because by the time I had had it for another month, I was like, okay, it got to go. And so I could have made a couple extra dollars on it. Um, good American good waist jeans. I found these jeans and um i sold them for 55 dollars. i was so excited to find good american because i never find good american thrifting and um i was finally able to, to find something so I, I was like i have to get this um, the next thing i found were these new balance 574 metallic patch blue um sneakers and i sold them for 25 dollars. they were a size six um they were in really good condition but they were so small that I went ahead and gave the person a good deal. I believe these are kids. I believe these are kid shoes. And I um, I thought they were women's when I picked them up. And then after further research, I realized they were kids. And you have to be careful with, um, with that when you're picking up those smaller size shoes because sometimes you just don't know. Like, is this, is this a sneaker for a woman or is this a sneaker for a kid? So I've had to try to work on that because it's easy to get confused. Um, a Hobo International wallet. I sold this Hobo International wallet after I probably had this wallet five, six months. And when I found this wallet, I was so happy because in the past Hobo wallet sell so quick for me. Um, this one did not. It did not budge. So I don't know if people just aren't into Hobo International anymore or if um, 
or if it was the color scheme or the print maybe people like something more basic so if I pick up hobo again it's gonna be super basic but um, I love the wall I thought it was really pretty multicolored snake print um, but someone bought it for $35 so I was happy I was like yes this is coming out of my inventory <laughs> Next, I have a Sarah Pacini sleeveless cardigan that I sold for $65. Um, this has actually been in my inventory for a while. This is a really, really, really nice and expensive brand, Sarah Pacini. So um, I was thrilled to go ahead and, and get a nice deal and a nice sale on that cardigan. And the cardigan, it looks simple, but it's so pretty when you, when you put it on. It is so pretty. It's like a... Um, it's like a mesh and a see-through, almost like wearing a net. So imagine like a net cardigan and it flows down, it's long. I love really unique pieces when I dress. And so when I picked this up, I was like, that's so unique and cute. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, cardigan. And I got five stars on it, so the person, they liked it quite a bit. The next I sold a vintage Dooney and Burke. And people love vintage Dooney, they love vintage Coach. Um, those really nice, old school leather handbags, people love them. And so every time I see a Dooney and Burke vintage bag, I'm gonna pick it up because they sell. And I sold this one for $52. And you know, even if you have wear on it, they're still going to sell. So I always pick them up. Next, I have some Sorel boots. These were a size nine, okay. And I sold them for $100. And um, people love these Sorel boots. Love, 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 love. And I believe I had those Sorel boots for up uh, for maybe three days. They sold. Quick, 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 quick. That's what I like. So $100 for those, I was pretty thrilled. I sold a Talbot's top for $18 and I had the top up for maybe $30. Um, I didn't want too much for it. It was brand new without tags. It still had like a button on the inside of it. Um, you know where they give you like a spare button. So I knew it was a brand new top. There was nowhere on it. Um, yeah, and so the person that got it for $18, they gave me five stars. I love y'all giving me some good ratings. Makes the girl happy. Um, next I sold my Coach Mini Crossbody Pouch, and this was a beautiful green pouch, and, um, I just absolutely loved it. It was so tiny. It was just, it was about like that very tiny but it's crossbody and it's really nice when when you're on the go and you have a lot of things to do so yeah and this bag i actually wanted like i wanted a hundred dollars for it for the longest people would bargain and bargain and bargain with me on this and it's crazy because i find that the items with the most likes with the most interest take forever to sell I'm not sure why, but yeah, I had I've had so many things where they'll they'll get to 30, 40 likes, and I'm like, none of y'all just want to buy this. None of y'all just want to buy this. So I, I did a quick sale on it, and um, someone ended up buying it for sixty-five dollars. So I still made a decent profit, and I was happy about that. Next thing, I picked this bag actually up for myself. It was a black um, a Gap black puffer tote and puffer bags are really in this season so I picked it up for myself because I thought hey maybe I can wear it as like a crossbody and I looked over it really quick in the store but I didn't realize it didn't have like something um, like hardware on each side where I could attach a longer strap I have this cute um, Prada strap and I was like I want to attach that to that and make it look all high fashion and once I realized I didn't have those two little prong things at the end where I could make a long strap I was like I'm gonna go ahead and put it up for sale and this bag actually reminds me of the um tail far it's a puffy uh, puffy tail far bag that I really 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 wanted and um I still really really want it so <laughs> Oh, I hope I can get it. But um, yeah, it reminds me of this Telfar bag that I wanted. That's why I picked it up. But um, yeah, I sold it for $15. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I sold it for $15 and yeah. So that is all of my Poshmark sales. Let's go over to, let's do eBay. So eBay, I had, I sold three items on eBay in January. <laughs> Y'all, eBay is, 
I do not get a lot of sales on eBay nor Mercari. Um, but I do believe in cross-listing and putting my items everywhere because even if you sell one item on one of those platforms a month or two items, if they're really big items, then you've done good. And that's kind of what happened to, for me on eBay. I sold an Eileen Fisher puffer coat for $200. And this was um, a brand new tax puffer coat um, in excellent condition and I made $200 off of it. So it was one of three sales, but it was a $200 sale. That's pretty good. Next, I sold some Anthropology Pilcar jeans for $25. I had these jeans up for maybe 60 bucks. Um, but I saw where, when I got on the app, I saw someone was interested in it. It had a watcher. I'd had the jeans for a long time. Snow is really coming down. I had the jeans for a long time and I wanted to get them out of my inventory. So I said, you know what, I'll give this person a good deal. Gave it to them for $25. They were thrilled. Uh, next on eBay, I sold the Junie and Burke vintage bag and it was for $35. And this bag really reminds me of like a little Birkin, the way it's shaped and just the way it looks. And so this person was super happy with it. And yeah, they got it for $35. They got a really good deal in that vintage bag. But you know, it had been in my inventory for a while. And once I have something in my inventory for a while, it's like, okay, it's time for it to go. And if I feel like I picked up an item that it's just not selling well, my thought process is, you know what? Get your money back off of it, make a little bit extra, make a better decision next time on what you purchase to resell. And so everything to me is like a learning experience. If items don't sell within 60 to 90 days, then I know, hey, that might have not been a good thing to invest my money in um, for reselling. And so I'm a lot stricter on what I pick up now because I don't like things to sit for four or five, six months. I mean, unless it's out of season, unless, you know, like now I have quite a bit of sandals, but you know, I have the springtime and summertime coming up, so I'm not too worried about it. But um, if, if I bought the sandals in the springtime and it was already entering winter, I'd be like, hold up, what's going on? I, I must've picked the wrong sandals up. <laughs> mm. Y'all, I'm almost done with my tea. Okay. Mercari. So I only sold one item on Mercari and that was a St. John jacket and I sold it for $60. It was actually a really beautiful jacket. I could have got a lot more for it, but um, I had had it maybe three, four weeks. And when you get good offers, it's just like, mm, I'm going to turn this money down just to get 20, 30 extra dollars. I'm not turning this money down right now. So I went ahead and it accepted the offer for the St. John jacket at $60. So I was absolutely thrilled. And guys, that was all of my sales for January. So those were all of my sales for January 2022. And it was a great start to the year. So for the whopping total, let's do a little drum roll. I made $1,795 for the month of January. And I'm just so proud of myself for meeting this goal. I'm gonna go ahead and claim it. I was $5 away from $1,800. I made $1,800 for the month of January. And for February, even though this is going to be a short month, 28 days, um, I have an even higher sales goal for this month and I'm just pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. So guys, let me know down below. Do you guys prefer the videos where I tell you what I sold the entire month or would you like to know weekly sales? Let me know down below which is your favorite and um, the way I can give you guys more of that type of content. So thanks so much for sticking around with me for this video, seeing what I sold, and I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.